Hi, and welcome to a brief tutorial about evaluating web resources. When starting the research process, most of us love to use Google to search our topic. A web search can provide us with background information, breaking news, opinion pieces, and many, many more sources to help us understand the topic and develop our research strategy. But with the billions of websites at our fingertips, how can we best determine the credibility of our sources and decide if a website is worthy of being used and cited in our research? Here in the library, we like to use what we call the ABC test. Each letter of the ABC test stands for a different factor in evaluating websites. A stands for authority, B stands for bias, and C stands for currency. With these factors in mind, let's search Google and use our ABC test to find a credible website. Let's say that I'm interested in learning more about racial profiling. I want to know more about rules or regulations that could help prevent it. Since I'm just getting started in my research, I'm only going to search racial profiling. I see several websites that look relevant, and as I scroll down further, I see a site specifically discussing new rules. Let's check it out and discuss the ABC test further. A stands for authority, but how do we determine authority? I like to remind myself that the answer to that question is in the word itself. When thinking about authority, Think of the author. We want to determine the author of the source as they are responsible for the credibility of their content. Keep in mind that the author may be an individual or even a corporation. Sometimes the author is easy to determine, like on this newspaper's website, where I can find her name in the byline. We may need to look for links on the website like About Us or Contact to find this information. It can also be helpful to scroll to the bottom of the website and find copyright information. Let's click the author's name and see if we can determine her authority. At the top, I can see that she's a staff writer for this newspaper. And if I look to the right, I see a more in-depth biography. It looks like my author has a lot of journalistic experience as well as having received multiple awards for her work. I feel very confident that she is credible and that this website is authoritative. Let's go back. I now need to decide if there is bias in this website. This can be a difficult process. I try to look at the language that our author uses or research more about the publication to see if they have an agenda. But I want to keep in mind that bias is often likely, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I can't use a source. I can always counteract the bias with additional sources that seem neutral or provide different viewpoints. After a quick read-through, it looks like my author is simply reporting facts and not trying to persuade the reader one way or another. I feel comfortable that bias is not an issue here. Lastly, I need to determine currency. Currency simply refers to how recent this information is. I'm going to look for a date or maybe again at the copyright information to determine if this website or article was published. If you can't find a date, you can always look for social media accounts linked on a page and see how recently they were updated. Keep in mind that currency is relative to your topic. There might not be breaking news about a historical topic, but you always want to strive for up-to-date information. My article is from December of 2014, and this is current enough for this particular research. This website passes the ABC test. I was able to determine the authority by examining the author's credentials. I found no explicit evidence of bias, and lastly, the information is current. So to reiterate, when evaluating websites, use the ABC test. Look for authority, bias, and currency. I hope this helps you find credible websites, and don't forget, if you need any help, ask us.